Hi, this is James from tracymac.co.uk and from boxings.com and I'm here with the Parrot Mini Kit Smart that Parrot have kindly sent us to review. So we'll uh, we'll do a quick unboxing video and I'll give you a quick demonstration of the device as well, if I can if I can make it work that is. So there's the device itself, we'll put that to one side and come back to that in just a moment. See what else we get in the box. So first off we have a, uh, a windscreen mount, suction cup, styly. Um, this is obviously for mounting on the dashboard. This will peel off, stick to the dashboard, and then the suction cup will go on top like so. We have a sync charge cable, and this is USB to mini USB. We have some shorter cables. Looks like there's three here, and they've got different adapters. We've got an iPhone one, mini USB, and there's a micro USB one as well. There's a, some kind of clip, which I've no idea what that's for. And there's the uh, cigarette adapter for uh, charging in conjunction with the sync charge cable. We'll sort it now. And there's some instructions. And finally, there is, I'm sure I saw something else in there just now. There's an Allen key, which I don't know what that's for, but I'm sure we'll find out at some point, and we'll, uh, we'll give that back to Alan. So let's have a quick look at the actual device. Um, it's heavy, quite chunky. It feels good though, it certainly feels well built. Um, over on the back, there's a, a large speaker grill there. On the front, we have uh, one knob and then there's two LEDs either side. I think this will be call send and end. There's two ports here, uh, USB and a mini USB. And that's about it for buttons. So let's see if we can power this on. I presume we hold down one of these. Aha, here we go. And then what we'll do is uh, stick my uh, Blackberry in there. And as you can see, this is adjustable, so you can get a, a phone that's wider than my uh, Blackberry Bold in there. And depending on what phone you're using, um, would possibly dictate the orientation that you're going to have it mounted in the car. Obviously, if you're having it for a sat nav, you've got the option to have it in landscape, but uh, I shall be uh, testing this out in uh, portrait mode, like so. So let's see. Oh, let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can pair this up. Hopefully, it's fairly easy. Add a new device. There we go. Waiting. Excellent. Um, I'll take a guess at four zeros. Pairing successful. Excellent. Sorry, that's that sorted. Um, So most things are obviously controlled by this centre knob here, and I was like, particularly we've got call send and end. No number in the phone book. So it will obviously auto redial. No number in the phone book. And what we'll do, we'll just we'll make a quick phone call, and uh, I'm just going to hide the number from you. We'll make a quick phone call just to see how how good it sounds. That didn't work very well. Let me try. Let me try a different number. Let's try. And, let's phone my home phone. Download complete.
Well, it's nice and loud. And we obviously press the button to end it. So that sounds pretty good. Um, I should be doing a full review of this. I should be uh, testing this out and using it in my. Do you want to call? Oh, be quiet. Naughty power. I should be testing this uh, for the next week or so in my car. So uh, keep an eye out for the full review on the site. And in the uh, meantime, thanks very much for watching. Bit Defender is dedicated to protecting people's digital lives. So working with Unboxings.com to help preview and review the latest technology is a perfect fit.